guys, Dr. Angela Bana here, coming to you from my practice on this super, super cold Joburg day. It's really windy um, and it's unusually cold. So that's why I have this get up on and uh, we are going to be discussing threads and thread lifts today. It's a really, really popular treatment at our practice. Patients love it, especially during the lockdown period. I, I was surprised. I thought people would come more for anti recall injections but lip fillers and thread lifts are really popular and uh, people enjoy them because a lot of people are at home now and it's a minimally invasive procedure so they have the time to uh, be at home and recover from it as well as a lot of people do the lower half of their face so wearing masks also covers the procedure up. There are uh, we use a few different types of threads in our practice. Most um, commonly there's PDO threads or polydioxanone threads. That, that is very popular and is very easy to use. There's also polylactic threads and, as well as polycaprolactone threads. And I'm just going to explain the differences uh, to you about them. And our patients often ask us, how do I choose a thread? So you don't choose the thread. We have to go through a consultation process and then we guide you and um, see what would be the best for you. And it looks really glamorous on Instagram, um, cat eye lifts are the in thing, but thread lifts aren't for everyone. And you have to know it doesn't replace a face lift. So often what patients would do or people do, and even myself, you know, you go past the mirror and you feel like you have a bit of sag and then you start to pull your face up so and uh, there is an extent to that the thread lift can help you depending on the type of thread and how many threads you put in but sometimes you have to think maybe surgery would be a better option but if you are deciding that you know you you want to do have surgery done I would not suggest a thread lift well, how thread lifts work is it's using your own body's collagen to lift and um, revitalize the tissue so you get some collagen deposition but uh, almost fibrous collagen de uh, deposition so if you're planning a face of it might not be a great idea to do a thread lift first with, with threads it, it's important to your tissue quality is important to decide what to what to put in what your aim is is it um, skin revitalization is it lift and also what your budget is because that's really important uh, to many patients what can they afford and how long will the thread last so we have a few this these here these are mint threads they fda approved they are pdo threads so that's the type of material they they are made of it's a suture material very common um, these are from korea actually and threads were popularized first initially in surgery they were permanent threads and now they are dissolvable or biodissolvable threads. So th that means they kind of go away after some time. So PDOs up to 12 months, depending on how thick the thread is, you get tiny ones that I'm gonna show you as well. But these here are the mint fine, so they are barb, they have cogs, um, and then they go from here to here, and they lift the, the cheek or they lift the jaw. So these are for lifting. What's really popular now uh, is that cat eye lift as well as nose threads. And why nose threads? Because, you know, we don't really want to put filler in the nose anymore because of the safety concerns and the high risk for blindness. So there's something called mint tip. It's so quick. It's so easy. Um, they're much short. So I'll, I'll show you something else that also goes up the nose. But a really cool thing with this is besides the nose, we can put it in the corner of the brow and you get that Bella Hadid uh, cat eye lift, which people really desire. Um, this really does create a lot of lift, but it doesn't last the way a polylactic or a polycaprolactone thread would last, so PLA and PCLA. So there's so many different threads on the market and the other one is called Aptos and PCL. It's a combination of uh, polylactic acid and uh, PCL, which means it's the polylactic acid gives it its softness, while the PCL gives it its strength, tensile strength, as well as longevity. Uh, so this is it. And there's also this one here. This is a poly, uh, a, a different brand, but it's, it's the same. So this one actually comes on two long needles. The needles go in on one thread and lots of little things called cogs that lift the skin. And the most lifting thread is something called bi-directional thread. So it goes in two directions, 
but these here are called multi-directional threads if you it's so weird these are actually tinier than these but it has a bigger box and I, I never get it I don't know why but they are covered with hyaluronic acid as well so it creates a lot of softness it is amazing for patients that have uh, acne uh, type skin acne scarring uh, pigmentation really crepey skin so it gives you the benefit of lift as well as skin rejuvenation and I'm going to show you a couple of threads now so this is actually not a dissolvable thread this is a spring thread but it is a permanent suture so it doesn't actually it's an Aptos thread so Aptos um, comes from Georgia Min comes from um, Georgia and Eastern Europe and mint is from Korea and they're both really excellent threads so this is a spring thread and if I remember correctly I think if you unspring it and the length of this thread is about 1.5 kilometers so you can see it's really firm and it springs in place nice for nasolabial these lines here these folds also nice to actually create a cheek um, Permanent threads they also use up in ears, like if you've got ears that come forward, in certain cases you can pin back your ear with, with threads, which is amazing, but it'll have to be a permanent thread. And then this here is another brand, it's called, this particular thread is called Pico, and it's really thick and robust, but this is for the nose, so it goes right into the nose, comes out very easy, and in the nose, because there's not much motion, it actually lasts really, really long. These are popular, so you see these all over Instagram, they call them mono threads, sugar threads, they're very, very thin. This is not for lift, this is more for if you've got scarring, um, you want to anchor the skin, or you put it in your in your forehead if you've got a very active forehead and you might want to like not do any uh, Botox, or um, since Phil is like really high risk in this area here, we do the Botox for you and there's still a little line we can insert those threads in. In your neck, it's, uh, it's great as well. So um, it's very, very versatile and relatively painless. So I'm going to show you how this goes in. So I don't know if you can see, it's so thin. There's like a little, can you see the little thread? Okay, there we go. Super thin. So, and then, like you know, I love plants. So this is one of my succulent leaves. So the thread basically goes into the, the skin like, like this. You can see it going in like you can see the shadow of the needle oops so okay it, it shouldn't do that so it's gone out the skin but it never really does that in real life there we go there we thread it and the thread as you see the thread's gone it's been inserted into the the succulent it's been inserted into the succulent so the thread's gone this thing is pushed back and I don't know if you can see it the line where the thread went in but the, the threads clear and there we go I'm just gonna poke it out it's in real life it's never this easy to get rid of a thread and we're pulling it out so that's the thing once they in they in so you can surgically remove them or at the time of the appointment uh, maybe you know a couple of weeks just before the end of two weeks you might be able to take the thread out but it becomes like enmeshed into your connective tissue so you have to know what you're doing and that, that that's another point because um, Instagram glamorizes these sort of treatments but we must remember threads are a medical device and this is a, a medically um, like a medical aesthetic treatment so it's important that you go for consult you have informed consent and you know what your post care is going to be like like no exercise no saunas uh, no heat near your face you have to take it easy for a couple of days post the thread lift and so you have to be emotionally and mentally stable to have a treatment like this i know that sounds a bit strange to say but it is an invasive treatment and sometimes when threads are placed especially the large ones with barbs that are multi-directional or bi-directional um, they create dimples and puckery which goes away but uh, you have to be okay with that for uh, a few days and uh, it does change your face and it creates a more sculpted look it's a really safe and versatile treatment for the right patient so if you have any questions about threads I'd love to hear them please like share subscribe and comment down below
Thank you.